So basically, you've got what I really like firstly about your cast is your, your, your speed of the swing. And because you're getting the anchor to land pretty much in the same place every time, it's good, you know. So that's good. Um, but there's, there's like two, two ways of doing this. Um, the first way is the, is the classic way where we lift the road up here. And we swing down and we circle up. We wait, 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 and then go forward, like so. So, and if you circle up and the and the road still got energy in it as you circle up, then you have to wait for that D loop. But the the bank here can be a wee bit intimidating, um, and especially if you want to do that one um, uh, speed cast, you know. So. So that one, I didn't stop much at all, but I, but I don't know if you noticed, but I started with the rod a wee bit closer to this bank. As I lifted it, I started with a wee bit closer over this bank. That meant that I could throw my anchor a wee bit further out into the river, which then means that there's more space for me between the anchor and, uh, and that little turn, you know, that I make at the end of that torpedo if I do it that way. So we'll do it again, we've got a nasty upstream wind. So actually the circle up method, I don't like when it's like that. Wait, 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 and then going forward. It's, it's a good enough method, but it's not the most efficient one. Um, this time we'll, we'll do the one motion method and I'll show you that. Uh, so we'll come up over the bank here. And we throw the anchor a little further out and just keep it going, keep it moving. And that one you can see is much more efficient. Yeah. 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 Yep. So if you can get into that rather than the circle up one, I think it's definitely better. Yeah. However, it takes a wee bit of work. Yeah. You know, it does. Cause it, uh, and there's a lot more room for error there as well, you know. Once you get it, you realise that the it's all about placing the anchor as far away from the bank here as possible there it hits the water and already i'm on the way forward yep yep easier said than done david but but uh, anyway that's the difference between the two you know basically if you circle up you're going to have to wait for the d loop yeah. and if you if you drop the anchor out here and you know that the anchor's going to land where you're expecting it to land, it means because you've pushed with your left hand out, we'll just show you that again. So here it is, there's a starting position, but as I'm pushing with my left hand there, as that line anchors on the water there, my rod is already back here because I've pushed my left hand out, you know? And as it goes out, I know for a fact that the line is now going to anchor there. There it is, anchor. As it anchors, bang, I'm already on the way forward. One more time. I do like the setup, I have to say. It is nice to cast with. Yeah. Yeah. So here it is. Anchor gone. And no trouble. Right.